Okay, right guys, so now we'll see how to solve the expressions by using logarithm. So here the question, it's about 3.075 into 2.75 squared. So first of all, what we have to do is we have to enter LG, right? And so always, there's only two signs you can see that. And if there's a multiplication, what we have to do, just we have to uh, convert that into plus sign. So you can see that I have enter LG and LG X is equals LG 3.075 and plus LG 2.75 and that's squared. Okay, fine. So we'll move to the second step. Now what's the second step is definitely we have to enter LG for the second term as well, right? Or for all the terms we have to enter LG, not only for one. Okay, so now what we have to do, we can take that index as I have shown in the arrow by the arrow right now so we can take that index as the coefficient of that logarithm so we'll check that in the next step so you can see that by green color i have marked it so 2 into log 2.75 2 into log 2.75 is there right so don't go to multiply that 2.75 by 2 now first of all we have to find the logarithm of that we can change like that if 3 is there then we can take 3 front if the index is 4 then we can take that 4 front if it is square root means then we have to take half out you might have remember what we have practiced during the class session and now we'll move to the next step and we'll see and uh, the before that what we have to do now we are going to find the logarithms for that what we have to do yes the co uh, here the whole number is 3 here the whole number is 3 so that 3 means how many whole digits are there only one only one digit is there so what we have to do is just we have to subtract that by one so one minus one that's zero so in the second one you can see that there are also two the first digit is two but the problem is the whole number is one there's only one two right now so that means again we have to subtract that by one then the answer is zero right now so the whole numbers are one but there are the rest are in decimals right you can see zero seven five that's in decimal and the next side seven five that's also in decimals right okay so we'll go with the whole numbers and after that, now we have to find the logarithm. We'll find the logarithm of 37.5. Keep that in your mind. 37.5. Okay. So we'll move to the log table. So here you can see 37.5. And where is that? 30. Row number 30. That's here. And column number 7. Row number 30. Column number 7. Okay. In that you can see 4871 is there. 4871. Right. 37 and 5. And 5, yes, 48, 7, 1. Keep that in your mind. And mean difference, 5. Under mean difference, 5, 7 is here. So we have to add that sound for this 4, 8, 7, 1. So the answer is 4, 8, 7, 8. Just we have to add them both. Then 4, 8, 7, 8. So you can see that here. 0 0.4878. How that 0 came? Just by subtracting the whole numbers by 1. So there we had only one whole number and that's 3. So 1 minus 1 that's 0. And now we'll go to the second one. And here first of all we have to find the logarithm of this 27.5. Again the characteristic is 0 as we explained before. There's only uh, 2 that means one, only one whole number. So 1 minus 1 that's 0. Now 0 point. We'll find the logarithm of that 27.5. Where is that? 27.5. Five. So 27th row and fifth one is 43, sorry, 4393. So the answer is 4393. So you can see that we have marked that 4393. And now just we have to multiply them. Now we can multiply. Okay, so now we have already found the logarithm. So we'll multiply that. 2, 3 is a 6 and 2, 9 is a 18. Likewise only. Uh, so now we can multiply them easily. So we'll check the next step now. 2 3s are 6, 2 9s are 18, 1 remaining, 2 3s are 6 plus 1 7 and 2 4s are 8. So 0 0.8786 and now the next step is just we have to add them both. So here the addition, 8 plus 6 is 14 and 1 remaining, 1 7 8 that's 16, again 1 remaining, 1 8 7 that's 16, again 1 remaining, 1 4 8 it's 13 and we have to place the decimal as well. So 1.3664. Okay, and now we can find the antilog of that 1.3664 and now what we have to do is just we have to add one for the characteristic the characteristic is one So earlier we subtract by one and now we have to add one for the characteristic then that's two That means we will get two whole numbers this time Okay, and now we have to find we are going to find the antilog of 3664 we have to find the antilog of 3664 and we'll see 
We'll go slowly. Give me one second. Thirty-six, sixty-four. Okay, so thirty-six, sixty-four. Where is that? Now this time we have to go within this diagram. Thirty-six, sixty-four. Thirty-six, seventy-four is there. We can't take that. We have to go with thirty-six, sixty-four means less than that. Thirty-six, five, five is there. And how much required? Just nine digits required, right now. So we'll say the row number is two twenty-three. Keep that in your mind. And the column number is two. And here nine also there in the same row, right? Thirty-six, fifty-five. And we have to add nine for that. So the row number twenty-three and the column number two. Keep that in your mind. Twenty-three, two, and in the mean difference, nine. We required nine to obtain three six six four. That nine is there, and that's under mean difference five. So those are the numbers two three two five twenty-three twenty-five. So here it is twenty-three twenty-five, and as I mentioned before, the characteristic is one. That means we have to add another one for that. Then that's two. We have to give two whole numbers. Then two and three they are whole numbers. Two and five they are decimals. So hope you got the answer. If you have any doubts, yes, you can discuss with us.